popular music doesn't always have to follow pop format. You right. know, popular music is a popular person, is what you make. Right. So it's just like. What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brandman Sean. And today, of course, we're going over seven success tips from the boy Black. If you don't know him, he's relatively new to the scene as far as being hot, but I'm from Atlanta, so I've known about him for a while. The dude's amazing. And he's had quite a journey, a lot of hardships as far as making that goal happen, like a lot of artists do. So check out the mindset that got him through it. Absolutely. Was that like, I guess, strategic just to keep it, I guess, under like 15 tracks? Yeah, or no, I like mean, that? and the the goal for me was to basically summarize my last five years, but not make you feel like you listen to five years of music. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mission I wanted, I wanted to, to give people like a, a general understanding of everything that I went through, you know, with in detail descriptions of it. So it wasn't just like, you know, surface level. Yeah. And I wanted it to be smooth and quick. So right. you were just like, you know, OK, I learned about him in that 47 minutes. And it ain't to say like I'm exclusive or anything like that, but I think I just stick to my story. Like I stick to everything I've been through in a I just make sure I tell that. Yeah, but see, when I say it, I think you could call yourself exclusive when it comes to that because at the end of the day, it takes, I think, a strong artist, period, to um, accept who they are as a person. Inspire the title, Free Black, right? Because it was a bad Yeah, no, nah, I mean, it just wasn't, it wasn't the right fit, you know? Like, they had their vision, and their vision was kind of centered around the formula that worked for him. Mm -hmm. And my whole argument was, it's not going to work for me. Like, you know, and I'm not, like, I actually tried it, obviously, because I'm open to, to writing and recording and trying different stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it just got to the point where I was like, this is not for me. Like, and y'all can't make it for like, me. I was, I was open to, like, whatever sounds you bring in the studio, yeah. let's try them out. Let's try them out. Yeah, so like, you, you never you know what you can get. You almost have to try it to yeah. say you don't like it. Yeah, it's man. like, yeah. you never know what you can get, because I've made some songs that might have that tempo that I'd be like, you know, this would be great for somebody else. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like that's one of the best intros that dropped last year. Um, just for the simple fact that it has so much truth in it, right? And that song in general was me telling the truth. A lot of people had no idea that I had a baby on the way. And a lot of people who know me still have no idea because they listened to that song and they heard the line and they thought I was just maybe trying to rhyme instead of actually letting you in on one of the biggest, you know, things I've been keeping from everybody. Just kind of studying the game, studying social media. Like I was, or I was around for a lot of the stuff that's happened in the last four or five years on the internet. So I got to see people come and go. Like mm -hmm. I, I learned a lot, you know, just from watching. So in that, you know, though that little gap of what was that, three years? Yeah. It was just a lot of stuff I got to like process and practice and take in and to the point where when we did drop the first two songs, it wasn't, you know, I didn't fall on deaf ears. Mm. Yeah. Fucking up all of the sheets. She only wake up to eat. Do this shit every week. Like, why you do that? Crying, you want to be great, but sleeping until the next day. Why you do that? Unless you had a long night. If you're waking up past 11 o'clock, you you got some, you know, you need to you need to get up a little bit earlier. Because I'm up at like 6.37, ready to go. I've seen a lot of industry stuff to kind of know what comes with being with labels, major mm -hmm. labels. And like, you're not going to get around certain things. Like, there are always going to be times where you bump heads and... Things aren't always going to be the way you want them to be, mm. but you know when you got leverage, it's a little bit different. And right, when yeah. you when you have proof and you have numbers, then the conversation opens up for different things. So, like I didn't the whole time I made this project, like I only met a couple of them, and they would come to studio. <laughs> yeah, like they would come to studio, and be like, "Yo, this is so and so from radio um, from the radio," and I'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, 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 I'm working right now." Right. So, like I didn't have to talk to anybody. I just gave them my track list. Mm. I gave them you know my songs, my, <laughs> my cover art, my videos, mm. and that was it. Like, all right, I hope that was helpful. Black is really, in my opinion, going to be one of the hugest acts we've seen in a long time. Um, closer to the weekend level, not just a, another hot artist. But anyway, if you think I should do somebody else, comment in that section below. Other than that, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.